morning everyone and welcome again to Rock Online. I hope you've all had a lovely week. Now this week I thought we'd shake things up a little bit and we're going to start our session with a song. And the song that we're going to sing about is all about joy and it reminds us how lucky and happy we are that we have Jesus in our lives. So everybody up, I want you all to sing and I want you to keep singing until you know all the actions and all the words. Okay, so ready, steady, go. of breath after that I don't know about you but I am feeling very full of joy and I hope that you are too. So today we're going to continue to talk about the parables. Do you remember parables are the stories that Jesus told to teach us different things and today we're going to look at this parable of the persistent friend which is sometimes known as the friend at midnight and Jesus told the disciples these stories when he was teaching them how to pray. So let's watch the video together and then we'll look at the story and watch and learn about what Jesus was teaching us. Now I want you to imagine that you're all tucked in up in bed fast asleep and your neighbour knocks on the front door asking for some bread. How do you think you'd feel? I think I would definitely want them to wait until morning. Well in this story the neighbour kept on and on knocking didn't he until he gave his friends some bread. Now can you think of a time when someone asked you to do something, maybe your mum asked you to make your bed and she kept on and on asking you until eventually you did it? Well my little dog Millie here, she barks at the door, don't you Millie? And she keeps barking until I take her out and I take her out because I want her to stop barking, don't I Mills? What Jesus is trying to teach us in this story is that he wants us to talk and to pray to him often and to keep talking and praying to him. He wants us to be persistent. Now by persistence, mean, persistence means continually doing something, doing something again and again. Now we need to be careful here because in the story the neighbour gave the bread to his friend because he wanted him to go away. And when Millie barks at the door, I take her out because I want her to stop barking. Now, God's not like that. He gives us good things because he loves us and he wants the best for us. This doesn't mean that God will always give us what he wants, but he will give us what he knows is best for us. And that's a bit like when you, you ask one of your parents or carer, Ask, you ask them for something and they won't give it to you because it's not good for you. They do that because they want to protect you and because they love you. And that's exactly the same with God. He wants to protect us because he loves us so much. So, in our craft today, we're going to make some praying hands. But before we do, I think it's time for another song. And this is a song all about saying thank you to God. Thank you for making me. Thank you that I'm special to you and that you love me. So everybody up and let's sing along. So now we're going to make some praying hands. And what you're going to need for this is um, a piece of paper, some scissors and a pencil. And the video will show you how to make the hands. But what I want you to do on top of the video is I want you to really decorate your hands. I want you to use coloured pencils, stickers, glitter, anything that you've got to make them really, really colourful. Okay? So off you go, make your praying hands and I'll see you in a minute. Well done. So now I want you to put your hands somewhere where you will see them during the week so that they remind you to pray and you can use them to help you to pray. Okay? So before we go, Anto is going to lead us in some prayer, and I think he's going to use his hands. Let's see. Good morning, friends of the Ark. My name is Anto, and I'm really, really glad to be with you this morning to pray together. Now, Judy asked me to do something special this morning. She asked me, could you use your hands to do special actions during the prayer? And so that's what we're going to do. 
So I'm going to teach you three special actions this morning and you can use them during the prayer. So the first one is whenever you hear the word help, you're going to go like that. Okay, help. The second one is when you hear the word God and you're going to go like that, God. And the third one is whenever you hear the word love or loving, you're going to go like that. Hard shape just in front of you. Perfect. So help. God and love. Are you guys ready? We're going to start. So um, don't close your eyes because you need to look at me and see the different actions. Okay? All right, let's start. Heavenly Father, our God, thank you for this parable and thank you for teaching us the ways we should try to reach out whenever we need help. Like this person in the parable, who went in the middle of the night to ask for help. God, our Father, we also thank you for our parents, our friends, our siblings, and please help us to remember to reach out to them whenever we need help. And Lord, we are going to do our best today and during the week to love you a lot because Jesus loves us enormously. So thank you, our Lord God, for this teaching today. And we go in your peace and your love today. Amen. Well done, you. You've done a beautiful job with all the actions. It was perfect. So that's it for our prayer today. And I hope you'll remember all the different actions. You can also do it with your parents or with your family at home today. Have a great day. Bye. So it's time to go now. But before we go, watch out next Sunday. Juliet and I are going to join together. And Tiny Tigers and the Ark are going to have a live session on Zoom. And we're going to play game again, we're going to do some singing, we're going to do some craft, and it's going to be such a lot of fun. And the best thing is, we're going to be able to see each other, and I'm super excited about that. So I'll send all the details to your parents or carers, and um, I hope to see you there. So in the meantime, have a good week. God bless you all. Bye.